Hello everybody, welcome back to Total Aviation. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the FSI panel. Now, FSI panel was created to train flight simulator enthusiasts for approaches on their favourite planes. Now, the release date of the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 version is the 11th of March 2021, and that is today. Now, it's just released, so... It does, it's all compatible with 30 aircraft included in the premium version of Microsoft Flight Simulator. So it's got three airliners, two jets, three turboprops, and 22 propellers. It is designed to practice approaches at different scenarios. So we're going to go and install this. So all you want to do is go into products and it is 1895 here it is so you can see they do 3d version but this is the microsoft flight simulator one all you want to do is download that before i start this review i want to say a big thank you to fsi panel for giving me the early access beta version for microsoft flight simulator thank you so much now here we go we're going to install it so you want to click ok you want to accept Agree all of this, create a new shortcut, install. It's going to install it very easy and type finish. It's going to load up, you're going to update it, and you're going to go OK, and it's going to update. Here we go, it's starting to update now. OK, everybody, after install, it's going to load up here, it's going to pick up your game. You want to be in the game on the runway. We're at Echo Golf Lima Lima, which is London, 27 right, and Airbus A3. 20 Neo. This is a nice layout. Lovely. So I'm going to do a short final. Position. Set up. Now this is all downwind. You can move it anywhere you want. And you want to click move aircraft. So what this will do is it's working. Okay. As you can see, you want to wait for the tooltip to come up that you have control so it looks like you're going to be free falling don't worry and it will come up on screen there you go hold your brakes for three seconds to take control set ILS frequency do you want to set ILS frequency and your course is two so I'm just going to fly this as a manual approach and hold brakes for three seconds and I can have I have control you want to line yourself up here you go autopilot disconnected I'm using my new TCA thrusters and here we come so FSI panel is really good highly worth it there's 500 going out looking for a nice approach we're too low get the nose down just a tad okay there's 70 over threshold 40 30 20, 10, and there you go. So, pros and cons. So, I really like the layout of FSI panel. Really nice how it's laid out. You can answer your airport, any random. I in this episode, I'm at EG, EG, hello, and it will give us Heathrow or City London and it will tell us our runways, ILSs, then you want to select a runway, I was on 27 right, now you can do final approach, you can customise it, it can go for any aircraft you want, in this tutorial I did the Airbus A320 Neo, then you want to go left hand downwind, vectors, base, long final, short final, base, vectors, downwind, I really like how this is done, now it also gives you a landing report, and this is the report here, so airport visibility wind temperature any rain touchdown now landing distance 480 meters was good um center line left it was an unsafe landing now touchdown was close to hard landing Bank at touchdown. Right. Perfect. That's very nice to hear. 
also give you your glide slope so I was too low we got the red line and localizer we went on localizer at all I really like how this is done it can be a tiny bit laggy at times but that this is completely normal I want to say a big thank you to everyone for watching this please subscribe like and share and I'll see you in the next one thank you